Hey guys, Cypher Sensei here with a new what if. Today we are doing What If Deku Had Telekinesis Part 2. Yes, I am finally doing a second part instead of just making new series. Where we last left off, Deku is offered one for all. Deku, who had a quirk in this universe, is a lot buffered. He did beach training earlier. He also had a harsher schedule because he wanted to take hits from others. So at this point of time, Deku's body can handle 20% of one for all in this what if. Instead of body training, they do battle training. During the sparring, Deku realizes that one for all boosts his own quirk. He asks All Might about this. All Might tells Deku that one for all is an enhancer quirk. He explains that one for all is not super strength, but but enhances the muscles. It gives the user the strength of the other users. He tells Deku this is why his body can only handle about 20%. So, when they are sparring, All Might realizes that Deku is only using his telekinesis in 20% punches. All Might tells Deku to let the power flow throughout his body. He gives the analogy of putting something in a microwave. He tells Deku that the power of one for all needs to spread through his body, like heat spreading through a meal. This helps Deku develop full counting. After the 10 months of sparring training, Deku gained even more muscle mass. He can now control 35% of one for all. When Deku goes to UA, UA for the entrance exams, he is greeted by Bakugo. Better do your best, you nerd, says Bakugo. When Deku is walking, he is about to trip. He uses his te telekinesis to pick himself back up. When Deku is done properly placing himself, he stops his levitations. He, noticed that, he notices that he is still floating. Deku uses a new skill he learned during his training called Soul Search. Soul Search is when Deku uses his higher IQ to enter the minds of others. This technique also allows him to find the location of others. Another effect is mind manipulation, but for this to work, Deku has to have either, in have either intimidated the opponent or have a stronger will. Basically. It's, it is a slightly weaker version of Shinzo's quirk. Back to the story. Deku uses his soul search. He spots a girl behind him. Please put me down, says Deku. The girl behind him apologizes and is introduces herself. Deku then gets into a conversation with her. He thinks to himself, I kinda like her. On the, part of, on the test part of the exam, Deku actually does better. Because of his telekinesis, his IQ is hide, heightened and he likes studying. When the practical exams begin, Deku uses his telekinesis to travel at high speeds. He sees a robot and uses another power he developed. He uses teleportation or intertransmission. This is when Deku's quirk allows him to move fast enough to look like he just teleport. Fast enough to look like he teleports. Since Deku has t only telekinesis and not all psychic powers, he can't actually he can't do actual teleportation. He just moves fast enough to make it look like he's teleporting when actually he's just moving. Since Deku has telekinesis. I mean, when Deku sees a robot, he instantly crushes it. He does this on a bunch of robots, as well as helping other test takers who are in trouble. By this point in time, Deku has 150 villain points and 80 rescue points. This makes a total of 230 hero points. Deku decides to lay back, since he already has the desired amount of points. Then, Deku sees Uraraka under the rubble. 
Deku remembers how nice she was, despite not needing her help. He also remembers how much he likes her. Deku uses his telekinesis to give him a boost, swings his right arm back, and yells, Detroit Smash! The robot is pushed back just enough to, and does just enough damage for it to break. Deku lands safely on the ground since his legs are not broken. Deku then proceeds to move the rubble off of Uraraka since it never really explains in the anime how she got out, gaining him 65 total rescue points for a total of 295 hero points. Deku goes home relaxed. He does some more training. He goes to the gym to do more muscle training since All Might can't be with him at the moment. After about two weeks of training, Deku can now control 65% of one for all. I am aware that this is a big jump, but Deku did more severe training. On, on his way home, he is greeted by All Might. The number one hero says, Young Midoriya. I was about to send this letter to your home personally, but seeing as I'm here, I might as well tell you now. Congrats. You did it. This is Your Hero Academia. Deku was brought to your tears. Okay guys, that's gonna do it all for now. I am so sorry for every time I stuttered, paused because I didn't know where I was on the script, or just froze. Also, if my mic is too loud, I am so sorry. I might try to fix that in editing. Bye and stay quirky.